In the 1970s, the world experienced a significant advancement in the field of medicine. The advent of amoxicillin, an oral penicillin that was resistant to the effects of stomach acids, offered rapid absorption and had the ability to effectively destroy germs. Soon, transplant surgery, IVF, joint replacement and even plastic surgery started making people think doctors save lives and live on earth for hundreds of years. Nevertheless, this innovation was the spark that ignited a potentially harmful trend. As a result of the label of negligence, which led to substantial compensations, physicians who failed to diagnose and prescribe antibiotics were held accountable. The medical community was overcome with fear, which compelled physicians to diagnose viral infections and abuse antibiotics without any limitation. The General Medical Councils in the United Kingdom and other nations imposed punitive sanctions, increased the amount of pressure that was placed on physicians. Medical defense insurance businesses came into existence as a result of the dread of being struck off and having to deal with compensation claims. The rising costs of hospital care and consultations contributed to the escalation of the health crisis that was developing. The 1980s saw the establishment of hospitals that were hailed as the best in the world, which resulted in significant investments for the purpose of generating passive income. Concurrently, pharmaceutical companies moved their attention from antibiotics to medications that treat long-term illnesses or conditions. The rise in the number of individuals living longer led to an increase in death due to cancer and numerous cancer hospitals were established. As the 21st century progressed, treatment-resistant bacteria and fungi spread like wildfire around the world. Antibiotics were still being prescribed by medical professionals despite the growing danger. Despite the fact that COVID-19 served to raise awareness in 2019, an astounding 96% of patients were prescribed antibiotics, which further exacerbated the problem. At this very moment, we are in the post-antibiotic era. The army of 18 bacteria, numerous fungi that are resistant to treatments is threatening medical profession. There are 12 bacteria colonized in hospitals, clinics and health centers are infecting healthy adults and children who visit. This poses a major threat to our very existence. By 2050, who estimate 10 million will die every year. The pandemic is said to be 20 times more severe than COVID. However, there is no hope of inventing a miracle cure. The time has come for individuals to make decisions based on accurate information, thereby reducing unnecessary visits to hospitals and consultations. Join the movement, says the narrator. Put yourself in control. Make decisions based on accurate information. It is up to you to decide. It is up to you to decide what happens. An uplifting audio track plays as the screen fades to black. Scan the QR code and get free ebook Maya Fighting Infections, Saving Lives, and Be Prepared.